Uh, now let's take a look at the offset for repeater 1 or repeater 2. But first of all, let's take a look at what happened when we offset the values of the repeater 1. So when you change the values of the repeater 1, the stars move from left to right and right to left depending on what the values are saying. So you can also keyframe this to make an amazing animation having your shape move from one side of the screen to the other side of the screen. Now let's take a look at what happened when you offset the values of the repeater 2. Now the shape will move from top to bottom depending on what the values you are changing. So you can also create a keyframe for this and make an amazing motion graphics moving from top to bottom and bottom to the top. So now let's create a keyframe for the offset for repeater 1. Offset the shape to about this point. If you offset it to minus 5, then you create a keyframe for the offset value for repeater 1. Then move to one second in time and offset it to the right side of your screen. Right about there. That should be about 5 or 4. Let's make it 4. 4 is better. If you press play now, this is what you have. You see what you have right there? This is amazing. Now let's create a keyframe for the offset values for repeater 2. So offset your shape to right about the top right there. Move your time indicator to 2 seconds forward in time and then create a keyframe. Move your keyframe now to 3 seconds forward in time and also offset the value to something right about there. Uh, one should be okay now if you play this this is what you're gonna have a simple motion graphics revealing the stars uh, in the next chapter we are going to take a look at the rotation and the scale properties for transform repeater one and transform repeater two